Hey y'all. Duke's out here today with me. Yesterday morning, Duke leapt and ran and bound and all I could think of was the Disney cartoon Bambi that I was just crazy about when I was a little kid. How Bambi frolicked and jumped and just like baby deer frolic and jump or deer in general. Well, that's what this dog was doing because he, he loves to be able to get out and play. And because of the breed he is and all that, the only time he ever really gets to do that kind of thing, run full speed ahead and just run and jump and play, is back here in the field. Well, he frolicked and jumped so much that now he's limping. He's walking better on it. I actually gave him some full spectrum CBD for the last couple of days and it has helped with the inflammation and the pain. Unfortunately, I think the side effect was some uh, runny stools, let's just say. So we're not gonna let him run crazy for the next few days. While his, I think he hyperextended his uh, leg. He's putting weight on it more than he was earlier, which is good. Like I said, just get out of the ant pile, goober. Um, the way, and you've seen him in the other videos, running and care, yeah, just happy running and jumping. And he ran me over one time. He was so happy running and jumping that. I have to have an MRI for that one. But now dogs who don't get to normally run and jump and play a lot but love to, just like humans, do too much exercise at one time or whatever, can hyperextend or stretch or pull something. So we gotta watch our pets. And if he's not, I mean, he's showing signs of improvement. But like Monday, if he's not gotten better, then he'll have to go visit the vet, which isn't his favorite place to be. I don't know any dogs that like going there, though. But he's walking good compared to totally holding that leg up. Now, he may after a while. Yep, there he goes. Because he's been walking. He's trying to move faster. Oh, Duke, what you doing, Duke? Oh, he's going to have him some goldenrod because he knows that goldenrod is anti-inflammatory. What's left of the goldenrod? Because from the rain last night, the goldenrod has turned to seed, which when we move down, I will show you. He's favoring it again a little, but he's trying to go faster too. Here's the goldenrod. So I was out here last night and this hadn't happened, but after the storm, I guess the temperature change, it just signaled the goldenrod to go to seed. Which, watch, I always like to do this. Just kind of flies, fly away. And just kind of it's neat looking it flies away kind of like dandelion does and neighbors dogs are barking neighbors I, well pine acres side of town and duke is interested Here you go back, Duke. Come on. Don't worry about those dogs. That's not for you to worry about. Let's just get you back to the house. You're limping again. He's probably gonna have some more goldenrod. Don't step in the ant piles. You're a little close to the ant piles. He's looking for him some more goldenrod to nibble on. 
which there's some, but he knows what's, there it is, he found it. Get you some medicine, Duke.